Hello and welcome to Mr Morton's Science Videos. I'm Mr Morton and this week we are looking at A-level chemistry class paper questions. As always, the paper we're looking at is linked in the description below, so you can have a go yourselves. This video we're looking at AQA chemistry, uh, Chem 1 Foundation Chemistry from May 2014, and we're looking at question 2. This question is all about uh, amount of substance. Question 2. When heated, iron 3 nitrate with a molecular mass of 241.8 is converted into iron 3 oxide, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. And it gives you the formula there. So we've got 4 moles of uh, iron nitrate goes to 2 moles of iron oxide, 12 moles of nitrogen dioxide and 3 moles of oxygen. A 2.16 gram sample of iron 3 nitrate was completely converted into the product shown. Calculate the amount in moles of iron 3 nitrate in the 2.16 gram sample. And the important part there is where it says give your answer to three significant figures. So, first thing we need to do is write down what information we've got. We've got iron nitrate. We know that there is 2.16 grams. And we know it's not got a molecular mass of 241.8. Okay, we can use this information to work out the number of moles. The number of moles is equal to the mass divided by the mass per mole or the molecular weight. Okay, so we're going to take 2.16 and divide that by 241.8, and that's going to give us an answer of about 0 0.008933 moles. But the question asks for three significant figures. So we just need to round that off equals 0 0.0893 moles. Okay, part two. Calculate the amount in moles of oxygen gas produced in this reaction. Now from our reaction we can see that we've got 4 moles of iron nitrate goes to make 3 moles of oxygen. So we're going to take our answer from the previous question, which is 0.00893. We're going to divide that by 4, and then we're going to times it by 3, and that will give us our number of moles of oxygen. So equals 0 0.0066975. And if we look at this answer, it's about three quarters of the original answer, which is about right. And I'm just going to need to make sure we've rounded that up to three significant figures as well. So 0 0.006, and then our 7 is going to round up which will make our 9 roundups, so it'll be 6, 7, 0 moles. 2A part 3. Calculate the volume in metres cubed of nitrogen dioxide gas at 293 degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascals, produced from 216 grams of iron nitrate. So first thing we need to do is work out the number of moles of nitrogen dioxide produced. And we can use the same thing we did for the last question. So we take our number of moles of Iron, ox, iron nitrate, divide that by 4, times that by 12 from the formula, and that will give us 0 0.02679 moles of NO2. We then are going to use PV equals NRT, and if you write this down, you usually get a mark. So we've got to rearrange that because we're trying to work out volume, so we get volume equals NRT. T divided by P. And then we need to put everything into that formula, making sure that we've got the standard uh, units. So volume equals 0 0.02679 times 8.31, that's the R it gives you in the question, times the temperature in Kelvin. Now to work out the temperature in Kelvin, we need to do 293 Celsius plus 273, and that will give us an answer of 566. So we're going to put 566 in our formula. We then divide that by the volume, sorry, by the pressure in pascals. And the one it gives you in the question is 
kilopascals, which is 1,000 pascals. So instead of 100 kilopascals, we're going to do 100 times 1,000, and that will tell us the number of pascals. When we simplify that, we're going to get 126.01 divided by 100,000, and that will give us an answer of 0 0.012601, which we can round off to three significant figures of 0 0.012601. 0.126 meters cubed. And that's our answer. Two part B. Suggest a name for the type of reaction that iron 3 nitrate undergoes. Now, when you look at the formula, we've got iron nitrate on one side and it's been broken down into three other things on the other side. And in the question, it tells us that we're heating it. So the type of reaction when we're heating something to make it break down is called thermal decomposition. Two part C. Suggest why iron three oxide obtained is pure, assuming a complete reaction. Now I had to, I had to think about this one because it's not as obvious as some of the other parts of the question. But I think what they want you to say is that the other two products are gases. So they're asking you to, to recognise that these two are gases. So they wouldn't be in the products. You just end up with a solid iron nitrate because it's completely converted. So I would say that the other two products are gases. Okay, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've learnt something today. Um, check out some of the other videos on the channel. And we're moving on to question three.